Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 12 of season 2 of Layback Camp. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. And that's when our curb fell in love with camping. No, oh. dude. Okay, so, um, <laughs> I am sorry that this is late. I got home. I took a nap when I was supposed to <laughs> record. It is now nine o'clock at night, and I'm like, oh shit, I need to get this done. So of course, this is gonna come out tomorrow morning, or you know, probably by the time you're seeing this, it's probably morning or afternoon, whatever. But, yeah, your girl had been out since 12, and I didn't get home until, like, 6 o'clock. <laughs> like, literally close to 6 o'clock. And I ate, and then <laughs> I had my eyes open, and I was just like, well, bye-bye. And next thing you know, it's 9, and I'm like, shit. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm going to, I, I, I tweeted, I was like, all right, I'm going to get this stuff done. And <laughs> next thing you know, I'm like. <laughs> so yes <laughs> so does that mean we're gonna see Aya fully no because like Kirby and friends are nowhere near Aya but it would be surprising if Aya does show up again in this episode not as a flashback but she need she's got one more chance to show up next week is the finale so she needs to show up I want one more moment with her because she's best girl and I love her so much. Seriously, just, you know, come join the friends. Hang out. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 metabolism. Unlike the rest of us. They're literally making me want to go on a walk. But not at no 9 o'clock at night. I'm sorry. Me in the food. <laughs> so, does that mean you can walk over there?
Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Is it cold? Owie, your restart day and Yubi is showing oh so much. <laughs> So Moped so bad. Like besides my dream car, like just would love to have one. I think so. Yeah, I mean, deers can pop out of it anyway.
Well, yeah, because it's a very special meal. <laughs> oh, she's lighting up. Drinking time. Let's go. Even though I don't like beer like that, like, ugh. Unless you give me, like, a really good can. Like, I, I just, like, me, I don't like the smell of it, the taste. <laughs> Yeah, mm hmm. The clues. <laughs> I kind of thought she was, you know, keeping a real good secret, but no. <laughs> Are they trick candles? Okay, good. Thank God. Because if they were trick candles. <laughs> yeah. What the heck? <laughs> That's perfect. Wine, yes, beer, no. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. 
Good job, girls. Great. So are you guys going to go to bed now? You guys go. Have fun. Take a picture for her so then she can see it. Oh, of course, Kirby's, you know, fast. You're pretty here now. I mean, damn. Mm. That's why Vaseline's good for everything. Ah, you guys finally made it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. Oh my god, stop it. Oh, you guys.
Beautiful. Like, take a picture! Oh my god! <laughs> I hate the fact that this is ending next week because I don't want this to be over. This is such a damn good show and I hate it. I don't know why, but I kind of want to do that now, just to like stay up with someone. Especially, it's it's fun when you do it during New Year's, and you see the sunrise of the New Year, the dawn of a New Year, and everything and stuff. And and it's beautiful and it's sweet and heartwarming. It just it gives you that sense of like this is going to be a better year for not only for you but for everyone else but just to like be there with friends and just watching the sunrise like oh my god it's fucking beautiful jesus christ like uh but see i think us for here for me in florida i think the best place for me to go to see the sun rise is probably the beach and such and because like here what time does sun sunrise sunrise is like six seven o'clock in the morning so uh, of course we would have to be there by like six six thirty and such and just to see it but it's really nice just to have that chance because it's just like mm, it's the dawn of a new day sweet and hopeful but yeah this was a really good episode loved having best girl aya in the beginning but i just i hope and pray that she at least makes one appear one more appearance because next week is the finale and i hate the fact that it is the finale and i don't want this show to be over i mean to have season two because it's been like i think two to three years since we had season one and now that the fact that we're almost done with this by next week it hurts because i really will like truly miss the crap out of this show this show is just so heartwarming and warm and Oh my god, that's cute. <laughs> and just so cute and adorable and very educational. Just educational. That's the word. Mm -hmm. Just like freaking Kimono Friends and any other freaking series that I have watched that does like a little bit of slice of life with a little bit of like educational stuff in it because it's interesting to know as someone yes i've said it once and i'll say it again i ain't going camping i'm sorry i love you like i don't mm -mm. Th this is also to my future boyfriend slash future husband we ain't going camping okay mm -mm. my friends my girlfriends whoever if we ever want to have a girls night we not going camping no i i love you <laughs> But if one of my best friends tells me, yeah, Deja, we, you want to go camping? I'm going to look at you like, no. <laughs> but like, just because a cute anime shows me the cute things about camping, let's be a little real about this. Like, no. Heck to the nah. You were, mm -mm. As, I, as I've said it once and I'll say it again, we can go camping inside the house. I'll be fine with that. Like, mm, we can be, we can put a camp, a tent. Maybe like medium sized tent in the house and ish, but it, okay. Now, if it was one of those like big, big tents where it's um, it's like a, a I, oh my god, I've seen it before. I've seen it like so many times, even on Amazon. It's like several tents in one, and you can it's like a a big behind tent where you can fit like a whole bunch of people, and then there's like hallways or whatever or some ish. I don't remember. If it's something like that. And it's somewhere where, like, people know where the heck I'm going to be. And ish, and be like, hey, if you haven't heard of me in a couple of hours, almost a day, this is the last place I was. Um, because your girl, like, mm -mm. <laughs> your girl ain't one with nature. So, I mean, 
if if it was to the point where somebody was like like yeah DJ, just try to try it i would like look this is the only time i'm doing this and i'm never doing this again i'll, I'll do it just to say i did it but mm, no <laughs> like even the moment with like freaking <laughs> Is it Aki? No, not Aki. Um, uh, oh my god, I always forget her name. The one with the glasses, her. Who who plays Mio in Idol Master Shin Miller Girls. Her talking about the deer. I don't know why, but like, I, in my mind, this happened to me when I was a little kid. And I, <laughs> my parents told me this story like all the time. And no matter what, anytime when I think about damn deers, I laugh about it. Okay, so I was like, I was a baby. And my my mom, my dad, and I we were all in a car. I was in the back seat in my uh, car seat and everything. And my dad <laughs> was driving on the highway. I don't know where we were going because you know, baby, and such. Um, <laughs> and there was a deer on the side of the road, so my dad went stopped and like went to go take care of it. And so my dad starts to go right. All of a sudden, the deer is like right beside of the car. And, like, any time my dad went, the deer went. And so my mom was like, was you trying to race with the deer or something? So you got little old me in the back seat just giggling over the, <laughs> over the deer. Because, you know, hey, I'm a baby. I'm going to laugh at, like, some of the stupidest things. And then it's just like, yeah, deer, I'm going to have a race with a car. I mean, you know, that's nuts. But, like, honestly, you never think that would happen. But, hey, I mean, because, like, some who lived in Nebraska for six years like my biggest fear was like driving um anywhere in, in Omaha and literally possibly hitting a deer and such and heck I didn't even have my license then but like if my mom or my dad would drive that was always one of my biggest fears and then when you know I finally got my license here and stuff I was like well you know I ain't gotta worry about no freaking deers but I think even here here we gotta worry about I don't remember what we have to worry about here in, in Florida, but <laughs> it ain't no deer. But yeah, this is a cute, adorable episode. I just, like I said, I hate the fact that this is ending next week because it went by really quickly. Honestly, in my opinion, winter anime went by so freaking quickly, even though a lot of people were like, no, it's going slow. And I'm like, no, it, it went by hella quickly because now, like, one of my spring shows is starting this weekend. I'm like, bro, where the fuck did the time go? But... Yeah, this is a adorable episode, but yes, give out. Uh, <laughs> I want more appearance, and then that's it. That's okay. I don't want no past. I want a present day, present present day best girl in the last freaking episode. That's all I want. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode twelve of season two of Laidback Camp. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for the final episode. Bye, guys.